Ignite your latest adventure. Set out to find new roads in the 2020 Chevy Blazer. This mid-sized SUV has plenty of style and tailors the space to your needs. Boldness to behold the 2020 Chevy Blazer riding in style. You have started in 1966. At that time, there were a lot of folks living on the streets of the South End who were veterans of World War II. Kathy McKenna and John McKenna, who were living on Upton Street, welcomed them into their apartment. Some of the neighbors thought they were crazy. Others were inspired by what they did. And within a year, they were able to acquire a building at the corner of Dartmouth and Montgomery Streets in the South End, which is where our soup kitchen is today. When we began, our mission at Haley House was to serve people both in terms of food, nutrition, and social contact. Our soup kitchen, which is a pretty intimate space, traditionally was a very open and communing space. Some of our guests knew how to bake, and they showed others how to bake. Neighbors smelled the bread, wanted to buy the bread. All at once, we started a bakery and a training program. So the Bakery Cafe first opened in 2005 in this space in Nubian Square, which was then called Dudley Square. And this mural reflects the people who were working here at the time that we opened. And I know each of these people by name. And the motto, nourishing our community while fostering economic independence, was what our goal was in opening Haley House Bakery Cafe. Historically, the Bakery Cafe has always been a staple in the uh, Nubian Square community, just as a space for people to gather, have a hot cup of coffee, and really have those conversations that are about things that affect this neighborhood, as well as just a sense of rural community. Arts and culture has been a, a staple of what we do. When it comes to food, a lot of that too has taken a little bit of a turn. We've had to shift our menu a couple times just to make sure that it was travel friendly. We focus on food that comes out of the African diaspora, the Caribbean diaspora, and just reflect the neighborhood. We've been resourceful, we've been resilient, and that's, that's also pretty much a Haley House staple. Since the early 80s, Haley House has been farming. We license an acre of land from the city of Boston, and that food during COVID has gone to our senior neighbors in the community and to our soup kitchen and to the bakery cafe. You can find us on the web at www.haleyhouse.org or on social media. We have accounts for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you know anyone who needs help, we're here for them and we're here for the community. So we look forward to welcoming you back next.